Hey everybody, welcome back to the Gamers Vault, and I'm your host, James. Um, as you can see from the video, we are going to talk about yellowing. Um, I'm a collector of video games, of retro video games, and I'm saying that very, 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 very lightly. I am a collector, I've seen people who are more diehard than me, but I am a collector of retro video games, and I hate it, hate it, when they look like that. Yeah. So, if you have your shelf and it looks like something what I just showed you, yeah, we're going to have to fix that. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you what it looks like to turn that console from the yellowing to my Famicom console. Now, this is the, this is the shell. Um, the reason why I haven't put it all together yet is because um, it, the actual mechanism itself doesn't work right. So I have an idea how to fix it. It's pretty much the power is having an issue. And that happens on these consoles. They just... Future episode, guys. Future episode. But for now, I'm going to show you how to turn it from the yellow that you saw to what you see now. Um, one quick side note before we continue. I got contacted by Dreamcade Replay people. The Dream Arcade people. And um, pretty much what's going to happen now is they sent my arcade replay out. And I'm extremely excited for that. I can't wait for it to come. It's better than the Atari VCS. And you've seen my past videos about that. I'm not going to get into that rant. I'm not going to jump on that soapbox right now. It's not about them. But the Dreamcade replay is coming. And when it does, I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm going to set it up. And unlike the other videos that I have seen that people have put out there with the controller, I'm going to set up my 8 bit arcade stick. And, of course, the Ultimark's uh, light gun. I did change it since the last video I did. So I'm not going to show you how I did it. But I will show you what it looks like later. So it's going to be interesting. You might want to stick around for that one. And that's coming really, really soon. As a matter of fact... I'm moving to, oh, not, wow, not moving. I'm flying to Florida on uh, next Thursday to, vi to visit some family. So the irony of this all, the Dreamcade is coming the night before or the day before I fly out to Florida. So that's pretty cool because uh, at least I get, to, I get to play with something before I go. And it's going to be nice. So that's, that's going to be coming up really soon, that video. So I'm very looking, very much looking forward and showing you guys what that is. I've been talking about it on this channel for a very long time. And I will tell you right off the bat that it's just something that you might want to watch. Beside the point, guys, I'm not, I digress too much. Let's get started on turning our console from yellow, a yellow-looking monster, to a beautiful white console. All right, everybody, so excuse the mess. You're going to hear some loud sounds. I'm in the backyard of my house. So <clears throat> as you can see, this is my Famicom. Uh, I took off the stickers just to show you how bad the yellow can get. Look at that. Just to show you. That's like, oh, you know, where the computer goes, you know, where you connect the TV, all that stuff. Even where the controllers go, you could see the different col discolorations on the um, console. So what do we do, right? Um, you buy this. It's peroxide. It's cream peroxide developer. Get it at any hair, hair salon, store, whatever you can get. And pretty much it's like uh, for usually girls that do highlights, stuff like that. But the same stuff that they use, you use here. And the main ingredient. The main ingredient is what you're seeing around you currently, the sun. So you want to do this as early as you can. Me, I'm starting a little late. It's about 1 o'clock my time. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is pretty much basting this like a turkey uh, around the Famicom. And like always, you want to use gloves. I have gloves I'm going to be using um, to start us off. So I'll be right back. Let me get everything set up. All right. So what do we do first? Uh, I cleaned it down as much as I could. 
But the main thing you want to do is get in all the yellow cracks or whatever you can get out of this thing. Oh, I put a lot on my hand, but it's all right. You want to base it out. Best way you can. You shake it up and you put this all over. Don't be afraid of it. No. Soap and water is actually pretty good. It shouldn't affect the um, the red here, from what I understand. But I did take everything apart just to be on the safe side. And pretty much all you're doing is putting the, the uh, stuff, the peroxide, all over it. Everywhere. Everywhere you think it's affected, you want to put it on it. peroxide creamer that I showed you and a 99 cent brush got the yellow to a pure white Famicom console so it does work so you, you leave it in there with the, with the you put the of course the, the coating on it then you white then you wrap this whole surrounding with saran wrap and you put a rubber band around it so that way it keeps all the air in and you leave it out there literally leave it out there in the sun I had two days of wonderful hot sunny weather and it turned from yellow to what it originally looked like on the console I'm extremely excited the way it came out um, the next thing we're going to be doing is repairing this console now I bought this console from Japan Straight from, from a guy in Satoma, he, was bought, he sold it for $20 a console, and he claimed that it doesn't work. Uh, I know what's wrong with it. It's the power capacitor. they blown. They actually swelled up and blew up like a balloon. So I'm going to be replacing those. So that's the next part of my video. But the main thing I wanted to show you was yellowing. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, there are some things I want to clear up when I was doing that video. The creamer that I used was good. It was a 40% peroxide mix, which is what you're really looking for, and that creamy texture that could stay on your console. The only thing I regret doing on that video, and I did fix it later on, was not buying these. Brushes. I got these from the dollar store for a dollar, and I based it on, I brushed it on the console. It was so much easier to use, you know, just, just, just the boom, boom, boom so much easier to use and let me tell you it worked phenomenally as you saw from the beginning of this video it came up pure white and I got the and I got that console from Saitoma Japan and I bought two of them I actually got it for 20 bucks because the guy said it didn't work it's all power issues I fixed them they're working now one of them I'm gonna mod out because I know there's an AV mod that you can do and the other I'm just gonna keep the way it's supposed to be the way it's meant to look so also I bought it an adapter uh, that looks like that 
And pretty much what that does is it converts my American Nintendo cartridges to be played on the Famicom. Uh, yeah, it's kind of ironic, right? But technically, the Famicom is like a top loader, so that's pretty cool. And the pens are not bent on that. They actually, they're they're meant. N Nintendo made those to last, guys. So it's pretty cool to actually to have that kind of concept on the console. Again, guys, I'm not gonna take too long on this. Um, the next video I will be doing is the unboxing and the setup of the Dreamcade replay. It's been a long time, so stay tuned to this channel, guys. And just let me know what you thought about my video. That will you try to de-yellow your console? If so, what are you gonna use? What what you would have done besides what I did in the video? Would you've done something differently? Anyway, link your comments down below. It's always great to see you guys. Leave a thumbs up. If you haven't been to the channel before, please subscribe. I have awesome content. And I will see you next time in the vault. Take care. ファミリーコンピュータの楽しいカセット情報シングルス、ダブルスの本格テニスをコンピュータと技比べ。5段階のランクが楽しめます。ピンボール迫力のフリッパースロットマシンのスリルポーカーゲームの興奮ビンゴ